My name is Gennady Golovkin and watching BehindTheGlass.com. Hey Fight Fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps and I'm joined by Sergio Mora who is facing Danny Jacobs this Saturday, August the 1st, PBC on ESPN. Um, first of all, nice to see you. How are, how are you doing this, this afternoon? Doing great. Brooklyn's uh, awesome. It's a little gloomy today, but uh, the weather's awesome. The people. The weather is not awesome. The weather is muggy and disgusting. Hey, but yesterday it was awesome, uh, and the day before that was awesome. We've been here since Monday, and uh, today's the only uh, cloudy day. You're West Coast base as well, right? That's right. I'm used to the 80s and 90s, and uh, when I got here, I was pleasantly surprised. But the humidity is just disgusting. I'm from the West Coast as well, and it's just. Mm. Humidity sucks, but it's still a nice day for New York. <laughs> through that well look you know what um, you're fighting Danny Jacobs this Saturday and you've openly admitted that you know that you're going in as the underdog what do you feel what advantages do you feel that you have going into this fight the advantages I have is experience I know they sound cliche but these are the advantages uh, uh, experience I have a better chin than him I never been knocked out and I'm not fighting in my hometown that's an advantage uh, I fought in a hometown before at Staples Center twice and I fought at the uh, Home Depot Center and those were th three of my worst performances because you have to worry about so much going into the fight about your family your fans uh, the celebrities you invited the media everyone that knows you it's a it's very detrimental for a young fighter to fight in his hometown he's gonna discover that come Saturday so I have the advantage when it comes to that believe it or not what would you say are Danny's, uh, or if, if you even think that he has any weaknesses? Everyone has weaknesses. I have a lot of weaknesses. He has a lot of weaknesses. I think uh, his biggest weakness is his confidence and the fact that he's fighting in his hometown, like I said, and uh, his chin. He's been knocked out before, and uh, when, you're, when your chin gets fractured like that, it's never the same. You could weld it, but it's going to be weak around other areas. You won the season one of The Contender, and you've come so far. Looking back and reflecting on your career and, and, and just in your life in general, personal, what, you know, career personal, um, what would you say you've learned the most? Wow, that, that, that's a loaded question. I can, I can tell you a lot of good things that I, that I learned, great things that I learned, but I can tell you horrible things that I learned about the business, about myself. Uh, you, give a, you give a man money, you give a man celebrity, you give a man uh, notoriety, and then uh, he's going to show you his true colors. I was blessed to have good people around me to keep me grounded, but I definitely, like I said in, in the press conference, I definitely uh, you know, got fat off of, uh, off of being a celebrity and it took its toll. I was never consistent. You know, I'm a grown man now. I'm in a different level. You know, I was Danny Jacobs' age when I won and I lost the title. So uh, I'm glad to be in this opportunity again as a grown man and, and uh, I'm gonna show you the difference. And I learned a lot from, from uh, how fickle fans and, and friends and, and the, this business could be. It's a fickle business. And media. I didn't want to say that. No, I'm not. I'm not saying it's me, but in general, I I totally see it all the time. Oh, you guys are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, everyone, it, it it comes with the territory, and and uh, you just learn from it. And I'm a better person because of it. I wouldn't change nothing for the world. What advice would you give to younger children, both boys and girls, who want to become boxers? I get asked that question often um, with the speeches that I do, and I will tell these young kids, don't become boxers, don't become professional athletes. Uh, go to school, go to college, uh, do all the things that your parents tell you because your parents know best. Uh, being a boxer is a tough business. Being an athlete is a tough business, and I wouldn't recommend it for anybody. It's a glamorous business. It, it's, it's easy money. It, well, it's not easy, but it's good, really good money. Uh, but you lose a little bit of yourself doing it, and it's not worth it. So I would, I would rather go the... Uh, the, the, the safe route, go to school and listen to your parents and be a good person in and out. There's a lot of online bullying that goes on. I'm not sure if you, I'm, I'm sure everyone experiences it to some degree, whether it's from the fight fans or whomever. What advice do you give kids that, you know, look, I could be of celebrity status and still get bullied and there are kids that are getting bullied because they're either overweight or don't, they're not as cute or whatever it may be. What advice do you give those kids? Great question. I, you know, I think uh, I think it's real easy for people to uh, talk negative about another person online, and it's just cowardly. So I think the the, the bullies, uh, the quote unquote bullies that are online, uh, talking all this mess about other people, they're the cowards because they're not doing it physically. They're not doing it in front of your face. And I've dealt with a lot of these cowards, and and believe me, they're cowards. I think the the, the people that ignore the the comments and people that ignore and could be the bigger person are actually the big men and believe me I, I go through this all the time the bullies are the cowards 
Well, look, I, I wish you nothing but the best come Saturday night. It was great chatting with you. Do you have a social media? Do you want to plug in any social media, Instagram, Twitter, so the fight fans can follow your career? You know what? I should have started all this earlier. I, I, I'm late to the game. I, I always like my privacy. But, uh, yeah, I started a, a, a Twitter, an Instagram, and all that stuff. I got a team behind me that forced me to do it. But uh, I'm glad to do it. I'm at the Latin Snake underscore on all of the above. And I would, I would love to talk to uh, f smart fight fans and try to convince the ones that don't like me, too. <laughs> all right. Bye, fight fans. Hey Fight Fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps, and if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and do so by clicking this little icon right here, or else.